Hello and welcome to a, another edition of Stock Market Daily News. Today we got a good bit of news. There's almost too much to even cover. I mean, I'm glad we got news coming back here after a, a little bit of a lull in news. Now we got a bunch coming on. Start of the year, obviously a lot of companies making some changes. It's pretty exciting. Firstly, we're going to start with some of these lovely, lovely numbers. That the trade deficit declines to the smallest in three years. Mm-hmm. I got to love that. So, international trade of negative uh, $43 billion um, versus a consensus of $43.9 billion negative and prior $46.9 billion. Uh, imports down 1% month over month and exports up. 0.7% month over month, so that's good. Those are good numbers. That's what we like to see. Um, we like to see that with trade. That's what I'm talking about. Let's move on to Frozen 2 becoming the highest grossing animated film of all time. That's right. Um, it is now grossed $1.32 billion since November. Top 3 animated um releases are all Disney films which the other two are Frozen 1 and then Incredibles 2 which you know some bangers of movies right there uh, Frozen 2 is also Disney's sixth film in 2019 to reach 1 billion um, soon Rise of, Skadar War, Rise of Skywalker will be seventh so just an unrealistic dominant year for Disney in the box office crazy stuff Xerox has acquired some financing um, to hopefully take over HP as they plan to do. Uh, Mizuho, Citigroup, Mizuho, and Bank of America have agreed to provide Xerox with up to $24 billion in financing to take over HP. The company is pushing forward with the unsolicited $33 billion deal um, that its larger rival had rejected. Uh huh. That's right. So, what the heck is going to happen here? I don't know what's going to happen here, but obviously, HP, they're not accepting um, the small deal they're trying to say. They want a $22 per share or whatever for HP. Not happening. Just not happening. We're not doing it. Sorry, these shareholders are not going to be accepting that, Xerox. You get out of here unless you're planning on offering $24, $25 per share for this company. Don't be rude. Don't, don't be rude. That's a reference. Um, that's right, Benchmark. Don't even know who the crap Benchmark is. Get out of here, you fake news. Uh, Benchmark names Activision and EA as top picks. I'm okay with you saying that, though. Activision gets a $72 price target. Um, of course, they're going to have a good quarter for I already saw, I already told you they will. They also list EA. To 137 a share. Um, Hickey, Mike Hickey sees improving investor sentiment, uh, relative valuation, existing live service portfolio, game pipeline, console releases, and balance sheet. Console releases? What does EA have for, like, what, what are you talking about? We don't have new consoles until later this year, so, I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, later this year, I guess. I don't know how much of an impact it's going to have. It just depends on what they're releasing. So, whatever. How about this one, baby? Let's go. Uh, Plug Power receives an order that is at the close of 2019 from a Fortune 100 company. Uh huh, uh huh. For hydrogen fuel cell deployments across their distribution network over the next two years. The contract, valued at more than 172 milo, that's right, is for the plugs gen drive fuel cell power gen fuel hydrogen fuel storage and dispensing infrastructure and gen care aftermarket service and support so a lot of people are obviously wondering what the heck what company is this most likely it's going to be a company they've already been doing business with which is either going to be amazon or walmart if you're thinking of a bigger company if this is a new customer this would be absolutely massive for them but uh, it's obviously still big news for them anyways that a company like Walmart um, or them sticking to them. So no worries there. Alrighty. Now we have 
of course, let's just be honest here. It's it's the life cycle of Apple analysts. They're all absolute idiots. Oh, look on the right side there. Look on the right side. You see that ad? It's ads for new age beverages. That's right. I own that stock, and it's a piece of garbage. Anyways, there's a life cycle of Apple analysts, as always. They're going to say that, uh-oh, guess what? We're going to have an issue with iPhones. It's They say it every freaking time. There's going to be an issue with iPhones. They don't sell well. There's no demand. They say it every time. And they've been wrong every time. But they still do it. And guess what? This piece of garbage... It's going to be wrong every time. Every time. That's all I can tell you. Get out of here, Sus Sus Susquehanna. Susquehanna. Sus uh. Ford reports quarter four unit sales fell by 1.3%. Rough. They fall all the freaking time, Ford. A 15.9 increase in truck sales during the quarter was offset by a 4.1 drop in SUV and 41% fall in car sales. No one's buying the Ford Fusion, huh? Um, Ford brand were down 2.2. Lincoln brand sales were 17.8% higher. Uh, F series rose 1.6% uh, percent in uh, this quarter. So good for them. The F series end of the year as the best selling pickup in the U.S. for the 43rd straight year. That's right. And Mustang sales increased. 20.4% also, which means there are 20.4% more douches with vehicles, is what it sounds like. Sorry, not sorry. Bernstein, the Berenstein Bears, um, boost China-based internet names. Can I just be honest? So, Berenstein Bears, was it always the Berenstein Bears? There's no way. It was always the Berenstein Bears. But now, all of a sudden, it's the Berenstein Bears. It's like some deep fake stuff. Where they're going back and changing the name on there. It just doesn't make sense to me. It's Berenstain Bears. Not Berenstain Bears. Berenstain Bears. Why is it Berenstain Bears? What's a Berenstain? I don't get it. Not related, but also kind of related. Alibaba gets targeted of 270. Uh, also positive on other other names. Baidu to 160 price target. NetEase, 330 price target. Um... IQ gets a $21 price target. JD gets a $38 price target. Trip.com gets a $43 price target. Why even change it if you're changing it a dollar? Just come on, man. Try harder. Meanwhile, JP Morgan, Apple Bull. That's right. Significant premium to their historic trading range, but the firm sees long term upside potential. Samik Chatterjee. Cites the higher percentage of overall revenue coming from services and the 5G iPhone expected this fall. The Apple, the the analyst sees potential uh, for upside across several areas, including iPhone, Apple Watches, and AirPods. JP Morgan, you know what? I respect this guy, um, but obviously, Apple's already got uh, you know already at three hundred dollars a share, so. I mean, price target of two ninety six. I, I I don't see where you see that there's remaining valuation. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Long term upside. I get it, but like your price target says it's gonna stay flat. So, what what what's going on here? Classic analysts. Meanwhile, Catalyst Pharmacy. Mm hmm. Um, is up on below average volume on the heels of preliminary 2019 results and 2020 guidance for Ferpides, their main drug. Quarter four 2019 sales should be around 30 million. The total year should be 102 million. Um, for 2020, they are looking for Ferpides to get around 135 to 155 million. That's right. So good for them. Ferpides, there you go. JP Morgan uh, points to robust holiday sales numbers. Not a shocker at all. Um, obviously, they're attaching these these noteworthy things. Uh, continued consumer strength, unemployment at 50-year low, 4% uh, wage growth, 76% of companies across the department store, and specialty soft lines coverage uh, universe tracking to meet or beat current quarter four street consensus. Same store sales by our work. So, obviously, good for them. Um, 
great year for for retail just because uh consumers are just consumers are buying speaking of deep fakes uh facebook is banning videos that have been manipulated using advanced tools through though the policy does not uh extend to content that is parody or satire or video that has been edited solely to omit the change uh, to omit or change the order of words such as Berenstain Bears um, that could expose the company to new controversy. Yes, it could. Um, put it on a slippery slope, deciding which videos are satirical. Yeah, for sure. Um, late last night, Google updated its ad policy to prohibit the use of deepfakes. While in November, Twitter said they could have been. Twitter said it would consider identifying manipulating uh, manipulated photos, videos, and audio shared on its platform. Well, Twitter, you're a piece of garbage, so. Piece of garbage. Uh, Model Y launches in Shanghai. That's right, after the Gigafactory's going. Um, wow, okay. Uh, anyways, look at this. Um, Elon Musk was on site as they delivered the first Model L, Model 3, sorry, Model 3 sedans. Uh, at a public event in, in Shanghai, good for them. Um, to kick off with the Model Y program in the country, good for them. So, Model Y has will have more demand than probably all of the other Teslas combined. And will have advanced manufacturing technologies that we will reveal in the future. That's what Musk does. He's all about the hype machine. Um, He's all about the hype machine, but he says he plans on building a car in there, too. Designing a car in Shanghai. So, How about this? Starbucks uh, going to be using oat milk. Um, jumping aboard the latest dairy-free trend. We'll introduce oat milk to 1,300 cafes in the Midwest. With a sweet flavor and texture that frosts like cow's milk, oat milk is won over consumers and baristas alike. Soy boys. Uh, in fact, oat milk sales have skyrocketed 636% in the 52-week extended uh, ended October 26th, according to Nielsen. So, where do I get me some uh, freaking oat milk stock? I'm going to invest in oat milk, dude. I wish I had, I guess. Uh, good for oat milk. It's not that good, by the way, but that's okay. It's, sometimes you got to drink cow's milk. It's good for you. Um, Starbucks is also adding two new dairy-free drinks in the U.S. and Canadian menus, the Almond Milk Honey Flat White and the Coconut Milk Latte. Good for them. Getting on some trend. Jeffrey, Jeffrey says he doesn't like Coles as much. Mm -mm -mm. Hold rating with um, a price target down to 52. Screw you, Jeffreys. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Um, obviously, we were looking at Neo's cash burn here. This this guy, FT Alf, Alphaville. Don't know who you are, but you're probably wrong. Nah, it's pretty accurate numbers. They expect that Neo had a quarterly cash burn in quarter three of $317 million, which they literally said. Um, and in the quarter, with $174 million in cash. And... Uh, this may not sound like a lot to the company, to a company with a market capitalization of $3.9 billion, but absent news of financing in the interim, it may prove to be more critical juncture than it should be, Alphaville. I don't care about you, Alphaville. You're garbage. Don't even know what you are. And finally, Micron and Western Digital uh, get an outperform rating. That's right, from Cohen. Dram fundamentals may improve sooner than expected, as they say literally every freaking two months, and then they're wrong, and then guess what? Stocks get hammered again. Whatever, whatever. That's just all you can say. Price target of Micron went to $70, and uh, Western Digital got raised to $88. Wow, wees. Um, wow, wees. Good for them. So, that's all I got for you today for news. Hope you enjoyed.